we're an aviation only company, so we insure airlines, we insure satellites, and we insure what's called general aviation, which is everything else in aviation that's not an airline or a satellite that goes into outer space. As a company, we are largely general aviation, but we do participate on most of the major U.S. airlines. Aviation risks are similar to auto coverage, where we insure both the physical damage to the aircraft, what we refer to as hull, and we also ensure liability arising out of the use of that aircraft. Typically, there are two major categories of claims. There are what we would call attrition losses. There's uh, lightning strikes and bird strikes and uh, wingtip damage, you know, aircraft bumping into things on the ground. Those are the typical, what we would call, attrition losses, and they're covered under the physical damage portion of the policy. Then there are liability claims, which could be the catastrophic claims that people buy aviation insurance for. And that's really where people, they buy insurance for that balance sheet protection. A typical corporate operator could carry about three to five hundred million dollars in liability limit. Um, and as an aviation insurer, we provide them that limit 24-7, 365, every single flight they take, we have that limit at stake. Uh, and it's a per occurrence limit, so they could have multiple occurrences of that limit throughout a year. We end up paying a lot of the small attrition losses because that's where the activity is. But ultimately, people buy that large liability protection to protect their corporation and their names. In my somewhat brief career, there's been a number of large claims that affected our industry, kind of the doomsday scenarios that we would use as examples that you think would never happen. 9-11 was a very obvious example. There was a hangar collapse in Dulles, Virginia a few years ago where dozens of corporate aircraft were crushed by a hangar when the roof became covered with snow. And there's been a couple of mid-air accidents with airlines that have really set precedents and put the bar high on uh, liability limits. Right now, the market is kind of crowded in aviation insurance, so uh, pricing and specific coverages have pretty much been set by the market. There are always subtle differences, but a customer should really be looking for an aviation carrier that differentiates themselves by offering them more services and more products. Customer service is probably the most important thing that we can provide to our customers these days. And in order to differentiate ourselves, I think we do that better than anyone else. There are some carriers that are providing a lot of risk management and loss control services and not everyone takes advantage of that. USAIG provides a number of different safety services. We have a program called Performance Vector which we offer all of our policyholders a shot at a number of different providers where they can access their services. Uh, we've also introduced uh, a Performance Vector Plus program which is a good experience return program. It allows certain corporate aviation customers to access a good experience return if they meet certain high-level criteria. We want to encourage all of the policyholders to use as many of the safety things that we have available as possible. So far, the trend that I've been seeing and that we're exposed to the most is pressure. Pressure from every direction. And it's not unique to aviation insurance, it's just a sign of our economic times. But responding to that pressure, or better yet, being anticipatory of that pressure is really what sets us aside with our clients and our agents and brokers. So as an example, we have small jet aircraft that can fly all over the world carrying very important individuals and lots of times they need to go there on very short notice and they'll need certain coverages or certain doc insurance documents to get them into those places. If we can look at someone beforehand and look at their aircraft and their types of operations and anticipate where they might be going, we can make sure they have all of that ahead of time so they're not trying to scramble for that when the trip is coming up. If you can anticipate what your client is going to need at any one time and provide that for them before they need it, that will put you way ahead of your competitors.